Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are finally, I know it's very late, normally I'm super on top of it, we are finally doing a Pride makeup tutorial. We are playing in the rainbow today. So if you wanna see how we got this look right here, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week and that's gonna be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how we got this look here, stay tuned. All right, first things first, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I am gonna be using the Sugar Crystals Palette from Violet Voss because I haven't used this yet and it's rainbowy, so it is pride. So I'm gonna pull you guys in. All right, I have no idea what I wanna do. I just know I want it to be pride and rainbowy. So I'm gonna start with Pearberry right here, which is like an orangey salmon color. Do I want it to be like rainbow or do I want it to be like all the colors of the rainbow everywhere? Right, I'm going to start with Bubblegum, the pink shade, which for our rainbow is going to be the red. And I'm going to start on the outer corner of my right eye. And I am going to take it a little bit up into the crease, but not a lot. And I'm going to pick up a little more where necessary. These are pigmented. All right, I am going to actually take it, I'm going to look up. This is a trick you can do with hooded eyes. Look up and go into the crease. It'll just shape the eye a little more so when you look forward, you can still see your eyeshadow. All right, I do have my Sephora Viramona color switch. So in between colors, I'm gonna swirl. So the brush is still gonna look a little stained and it's gonna look dirty, but there is no pigment on it. So from there, I'm gonna go into Pearberry the orange and I'm going to take that to the center of the eye. And I'm gonna concentrate that in the middle before I blend it into the pink. So I really wanna make sure that it's there. And then I hit where the pink is. Next on a flat brush, I'm gonna load up on Banana, the yellow. And I'm going to take that on the innermost portion of the eye. And I am actually going to pull that down the lid because I will be putting something shimmery on top of it. But I really do want that yellow to be visible underneath. And then with that same first brush going into Pearberry, the orange, I'm just going to improve the blending in the middle. And then dipping a tiny bit into the pink just to... Make sure we don't lose. I do want to make sure that all three of these colors are visible. So I really want to make sure you can see all of them, but that they are all blended. So we do have pink, we've got that orange, we have that yellow. All right, cleaning off that first brush. And I'm going to be taking the exact same brush, but cleaned off. I'm going to jump into Jelly Bean, the purple shade, and I'm going to purple, blue, green, the exact way I did this eye on this eye. All right, now that we have our base rainbow down, I'm going to go throw on the rest of my face, and I'll be right back so we can do the lower lash and figure out what we're doing with everything else. All right, base is done. Before I tie up the eyes, I am going to bronze up the face because I'm looking a little pasty. Going to my Tantric from Marc Jacobs. Forever I was using Tantastic, but now that I got a little color to me because again, tan and in Florida, I've been back on this one and I really like how it looks. Like just see how that already just brought the face together. Like just look, this half versus this half. Never neglect your bronzer. And the nose. For blush, going into the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Palette. I want something a little bit warmer because the eyes are gonna be super vibrant. So I'm actually going to start with a tiny bit of Stargaze and then like two dips of Twilight. I want more of Twilight than anything else. Now, I am going a little heavy on the blush right now, 
because I am going to veil with a little bit of powder to lock this in because on me blush does tend to disappear. So I'm going to blush up the nose. Then taking a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder, just going to lock all that in place. This powder just makes everything so soft focus and perfected that I love just as like the final step and whatever I'm doing, just buffing this over everything. And because why not? This is the shade two. I do have a tiny little trial baby size of shade one. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of shade one and I'm just going to brighten the under eye a little bit more. I know that I'm going to be popping some smoky shadow on here. So I really want that under eye to be nice and bright. All right, before I jump into lower lash shadow, I am going to take a little bit of black liner in the waterline. And I've gotten a few comments lately, like just look how much prettier that looks. I've gotten a couple comments where people were like, when you put black liner in your waterline, it makes your eyes look smaller. You shouldn't do it. But it looks sexy as hell. So I'm going to keep doing it. But now you know why, because it's so pretty. All right, now that the liner's down, we're going to go into, that's the blush palette. I want the eyeshadow palette. Back into the eyeshadows and see how we went pink, orange, yellow? Well, now I'm going to go green, blue, purple. And because we went green, blue, purple, it's going to go pink, orange, yellow. So it's going to be like each eye is its own rainbow. And then the lower lash line is going to go from pink to purple. The upper is going to go pink to purple and everything's going to be pink to purple. So I'm going to start with the packing brush and I'm going to start with the yellow shade. I'm going to go into a pencil brush instead. Same yellow color. And then on the other side with mint choco, the green. And now right now we're just getting the blend. I will pack more on later. Going into a slightly denser brush for the blue shade. And then one more for the purple. And see, rainbow. Cleaning off those same three brushes because I want to make sure that I use the same three brushes. I'm going to start with the lightest shade with the yellow again and just intensify the yellow. Then with the Pearberry shade, that orange in the middle. And then lastly, going in with Bubblegum, the pink. And then with the pink, we're going to link it right here into the purple. And we're going to do the same thing with the purple on this side to link it into... Now I am just going to re-intensify Pearberry, the orange, because I am losing it a little bit. And at this point, all you want to do is make sure that anything you think needs to be intensified, you intensify. And then we highlight. I'm going to actually take Fenty. This is Sandcastle. And I'm going to do my brow. Because I really want a poppin' brow bone today. All right, now that the highlight is on and we are glowing, I'm going to go throw on my brows. The reason I waited is I actually saw a makeup hack on TikTok. I will find whoever said it and link it down below. But they basically said, do this over your eyebrow, then do your brows, because it will make your brow bone highlight even more poppin', and honestly, kind of is. So I'm just going to go throw on my brows, and we'll be back to throw on a lip and tie it all together. All right, we are back, brows are on, lashes are done, and time to finish up the eyes and throw on a lip. So going back into that same palette, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna be using two shades. So on this eye, I'm gonna be taking, because it's the yellow, I'm gonna take Lemon Drop, the yellow, and I'm gonna use that lightly as a topper. And then I'm gonna do Pistachio, the green, on top of this side. So I'm gonna start with that. I know it's not going to be super apparent for a difference on camera, but in person it does just help the lid to pop a little bit more. I don't know if you guys are seeing the difference. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing with pistachio. Definitely more visible on the green side than it is on the yellow side. 
So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow just to make it even more vibrant because it's already a rainbow, so why not make it really vibrant? And lastly for the eyes, inner corner highlight. So I'm going to go into the shade down here, which is buttercream, which is like a green yellow, but super white and super frosty. And I'm going to take that on both inner corners. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend around the inner corner because I really want that pinpoint spotlight to be right on the center. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a nude or a black lip, but now that I see the eyes and it is super vibrant and super bold, I think I'm going to do a nude on the lip. So I'm going to grab my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. And then the matching Pillow Talk Lipstick. And since we are mostly matte on the eyes, I am going to spruce up the lip with a gloss. So I'm going to grab the Turned On Gloss from Beauty For Real. One last hit of a illuminating setting spray. And that's the finished look. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's tutorial. Happy June, happy Pride. And let's not forget that Pride started as a riot too. So let's make sure that we are sharing all of the love to all people this June, this Pride. Thank you again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.